Hi guys, welcome back to Chemarkum. Today we are going to explore Tifano Temchano rearrangement and their magnetic details along with some interesting examples. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's move on. Tifano Temchano rearrangement. So this is one of the semi-phenacol rearrangement. If you know about the Temchano rearrangement, this reaction will be more simple. So according to Tifano Temchano rearrangement. So beta amino alcohol in the presence of sodium nitrite in acetic acid which quickly rearranges into corresponding carbonyl compound. So this type of reaction is called Tifano Temgenov rearrangement. So this reaction takes place by initial disertation of this amine group then followed by carbon-carbon bond migration which leads to produce corresponding ring expanded carbonyl compounds. So in the place of sodium nitrate in acetic acid, we can use nitrous acid also. The mechanism of Tifano Temgenov rearrangement is just similar to Temgenov rearrangement since most of the steps are similar to Temgenov rearrangement. So according to this, the first step is generation of N2O3. So here you see the two nitrous acid in the presence of acid which react together to produce corresponding N2O3. Here you see how this happened. So initially this electron shifted here then followed by this electron attacks this nitrogen center followed by kick off this water molecule which leads to generate this corresponding reactive intermediate. So ne the next step is amine to disonium salt formation. So here you see, so initially this amino alcohol here you see this amine part has lone pair of electron which attacks this nitrogen center since this nitrogen attached with two electronegative oxygen atom therefore this one feels electron deficient therefore this nitrogen center attacks here then followed by this one kick off this part which produce nitrous acid as a byproduct along with this intermediate. So this intermediate quickly tautomerizes to provide this corresponding oxime form. Here you see how this happened. This electron migrated here, then followed by this electron pick up this height plus ions, which leads to the generate this oxime intermediate. So after the formation of oxime intermediate, which quickly protonated by the acid, here you see this hydroxy group protonated by this acid, which produced this corresponding intermediate. Now you see this nitrogen lone pair of electron goes here, then followed by kick off this water molecule which leads to generate corresponding disonium ion. So this disonium ion is highly unstable. Therefore, the next step which undergo the ring expansion by rearrangement reaction. So now you see the nitrogen gas quickly fall off. At the same time, this carbon-carbon bond migrate to this center then followed by nitrogen go gas goes away which leads to generate this corresponding resonance stabilized carbocation intermediate then followed by fall of the H plus ion which leads to generate this corresponding ring expanded ketone as a product. So next we move on what is the inherent migratory aptitude of different substituent groups. For example, let us consider this example when you do disotation. So initially this amine group quickly converted into corresponding disonium ion. So the next step will be a rearrangement step. So now you see here this particular center having phenyl group as well as isopropyl group. So which group will get more preference in order to migrate this particular center. So when you get this situation you just take uh, remember this migratory aptitude. So this migratory aptitude just similar to our phenacol phenacolon rearrangement migratory aptitude just to follow the same trend. Therefore, that phenyl group will get more priority. Therefore, this phenyl group is migrated here then followed by the kick of the nitrogen gas which leads to generate this corresponding resonance stabilized the carbocation that followed by the fall of the H plus ion which generate corresponding ketone product. So next you consider this example. So this one is somewhat a tricyclic compound having beta amino alcohol part. When you subject under Tifano Temgenov reaction condition, the first step is a disotation. 
So after the disolation, you will get this type of intermediate. Now you closely look this intermediate. So here you see this compound having one methylene group as well as one bridge head carbon group. So which group will migrate? So when you get this type of situation, you just remember this rule, especially bridged bicyclic compounds, the methylene group migrate preferentially compared to the bridge head carbon due to the some stereo electronic features. Therefore, this methylene group quickly migrate into this carbon center and followed by kick off this nitrogen gas which generate resonance stabilized carbocation intermediate and followed by fall of the H plus ion which generate corresponding keto compound as a major product. At the same time, if you migrate this bridge gate carbon into this center, you will get the minor amount of this ketone as a product. So next we move on, what is the influence of conformational features on stereochemistry and other factors on the Tiffany-Tem geno rearrangement. For this, let's consider this example. When you take the trans 2 amino cyclohexanol, when you subject under nitrous acid, which quickly rearranges into provide this corresponding cyclopentane carbaldehyde. Let's see how this reaction happened. So when you get this type of cyclohexane system, you just convert into the corresponding chair form. When you convert this structure into chair form, you will get this form. When you do, when you treat by nitrous acid, that quickly provide corresponding disonium ion. So now you see which group migrate. So this carbon-carbon bond migrate since this one perfectly aligns the antiperiplanar position. So this rule just is similar to our phenacol phenacolon rearrangement. Therefore, this group only migrate. So which leads to ring contraction takes place to provide this resonance stabilized carbocation intermediate, then followed by the fall of the H plus ion, which produce corresponding cyclopentane carbaldehyde as a product. So we already know that this type of cyclohexane system, which quickly undergo ring flipping to produce corresponding ring flipped structure. Therefore, when you do ring flipping, you will get this type of form. So now you compare these two structure. So here you see in this structure, both amine group as well as hydroxy group, both are present in the equatorial position. So now you compare this position, both hydroxy group as well as amine group, both are present in the axial position. Therefore, this particular, this form will experience as 1,3 dioxyl interaction. Therefore, when you take trans 2 amino cyclohexanol, this form only more predominantly observed. Therefore, which readily undergo to produce corresponding cyclopentane carbaldehyde as a product. So now you consider cis 2 amino cyclohexanol. When you conduct the same reaction by using cis 2 amino cyclohexanol, but which produce mixture of products such as cyclopentane carbaldehyde as well as cyclohexanone. Let's see how this happened by magnetically. So you just convert this structure into corresponding chair form. Now you see one of the amine group present in the equatorial position and one hydroxy group present in the axial position. When you do, uh, when you treat with nitrous acid, which quickly convert into corresponding disonium ion. Now you look, uh, now closely look this structure. So this particular carbon-carbon bond perfectly arranges into antiperiplanar position. Therefore, this carbon, especially this carbon, migrate to this center, which leads to ring contraction takes place to produce corresponding cyclopentane carbaldehyde as a product. So just now uh, I said in our previous slide, so the cyclohexane system which quickly undergo by ring flipping, therefore when you do ring flipping which produce this form, now you compare this both form, here you see one of the amine group present in the equatorial position, here one of the group, hydroxy group present in the axial position. At the same time, this form, amine group present in the axial position and hydroxy group present in the 
equatorial position. Therefore, when you take the six two amino cyclohexanol, and all, the both forms are present in the same reaction mixture. So when you get this form, when you treat the nitrous acid, you will get corresponding diazonium ion. Now you see in the structure, the hydrogen atom only exactly arranges into the antiperiplanar position or transposition. Therefore, this group only migrate, which leads to generate corresponding resonance stabilized carbocation, which quickly uh, produce corresponding enol form. That enol form quickly convert into the corresponding keto form by keto enol tautomerism to deliver this corresponding cyclohexanone product. So, in this way, conformational or stereochemical features heavily influences in the course of tifano temgeno rearrangement. So, next consider this example. When you put some anchoring group in cyclohexane system, therefore, that group it is really difficult to ring flip because of this bulky tertiary butyl group. So, now you convert this structure into chair form. Therefore, this anchoring group never allowed to ring flip into their corresponding ring flipped structure. Therefore, when you use uh, nitrous acid, which quickly undergo disonium ion formation. Now, you see in this particular structure, there is no group exactly present in the antiperiplanar position. Therefore, this hydroxyl group readily attacks this center, which leads to generate corresponding epoxide as a product. Let us see some of the examples to solidify our knowledge on Tefano Temgeno rearrangement. Let us consider this example when you do sodium nitrate and acetic acid, which produce corresponding disonium ion. Now you see this structure. We just now we seen that methylene group will get more preference than Bridgehead carbon. But in this structure, here you see. So this carbon is Bridgehead carbon. At the same time, this carbon also Bridgehead carbon. So when you encounter this type of scenario, you just apply this rule. You just see which carbon exactly present in the transposition or antiperiplanar position those carbon only migrate into this particular center. Therefore, this carbon exactly present in the antiperiplanar position. Therefore, this one is migrate to produce this corresponding ketone as a by ketone as a product. So, now you take this example when you use sodium nitrate and acetic acid which produce corresponding disonium ion. Now, you look this structure. So, this side having alkene group this side having methylene group so which group will get more priority so according to our migratory aptitude alkene containing group will get more priority therefore this group readily migrate or rearranges into this center which produce corresponding ketone as a major product at the same time this methylene group migration will produce corresponding product as a minor form so next we are moving on one more example so this example also based on what cyclohexane related system therefore you just convert this structure into corresponding chair form now you see this chair form structure when you use nitrous acid this amine group readily convert into corresponding disonium ion now you look which group exactly present in the antiperiplanar position this group only therefore this carbon carbon bond migrate to this center then followed by kick off the nitrogen gas which produce a ring contracted aldehyde as a product then when you convert into fissure form you will get the corresponding product next we moving on improvement of tifano temgeno rearrangement there are lot of effort have been paid to development of and improvement of tifano temgeno rearrangement here you see when you take the ketone which react with diazo compound in the presence of Lewis acid which quickly produce this intermediate. Now you closely see this intermediate which is similar to our tifano temgeno reaction intermediate. Therefore, when you get this type of intermediate, here you see this negative charge 
which migrated towards to this carbon center that followed by ring expansion takes place. Here you see this carbon-carbon bond migrate to this center, the same time kick off nitrogen gas, which produce ring expanded ketone as a product. So next you will see some examples based on this advanced procedure of Tifanotem genome rearrangement. So when you take cyclohexanone, which react with this diso compound in the presence of BF3 etherate Lewis acid. So BF3 etherate which readily coordinate with this center, then followed by this diso compound attacks here, which produce this type of intermediate, then followed by rearrangement takes place to produce this ring expanded ketonoche product. So here you see, this is another example. Here you see thiopyrin react with this diso compound in the presence of BF3 etherate, which produce this corresponding ring expanded product. As we conclude here into Tifano Temgenov rearrangement, I hope this video has expanded your understanding about this interesting Tifano Temgenov rearrangement. So here are some of the practice problems. When you get the free time, you just try it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more engaging content. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.